Hey everybody, it's Lawman Mike with www.lawmakerturns.com. Once again, I'm proving I'm not a bass player. I can pluck out a few notes, okay, but I am not a bass player. But you know what? This one makes me want to be a bass player. I got this, boy, can we get all that in there? Uh, this is a 34 inch uh, full scale neck on a 1987 Gibson 4 bass. It's got a... Uh, I, V, to make a Roman numeral four. Now, everyone who's looking at this says, what the heck is that? Is that something somebody made? I went, yeah, Gibson made it. Uh, Gibson only made this bass two years. They made it in 1987. Oh, I'm sorry, three years. 87, 88, and 89. And um, it's basically a Thunderbird bass with a, with a P bass style body. It's got th Thunderbird pickups, ebony board, a fancy little almost a V style headstock nicely inlaid Gibson 4 on the on the headstock. Uh, I think, yeah, those are original tuners. They say Gibson. Ought to be Gip, uh, original tuners. And uh, it's really a very, very cool relic looking bass. When I got this thing, you would not have believed the difference between what it looks like today and what it was like when I got it. This thing was a mess. I couldn't believe it. So it certainly needed a Lawman guitar spa treatment for one thing. But the other thing I was just telling Brian was it was covered in stickers, okay? <laughs> I know, you know, you guys like to personalize your bases and all that stuff. But let me tell you, when those stickers stay on there from the 80s, they're a mess. Uh, I was just telling Brian, he says, oh, I like how this shows right in here. I said, well, that's actually where I had to rub. The sticker had bled through into the finish. So I scrubbed so much, I had got down to the original white. Yes, these guitars were white to start off with. It's got this beautiful gold color now. But this came from me rubbing off. This one is a finger here. These two are from fingers. But this one in here came from me rubbing to get the, the, the sticker bleed off of here. And on the back, just to prove it, I left one on here, plus this other sticker that was on here. So please don't put stickers on your, on your instruments. Please, <laughs> I'm begging you, don't do it. But anyway, that's what I did. I cleaned it all up and it actually turned out to be just beautiful. It's got some, not no real buckle rash. It's got more button impressions on the back here. Uh, you can tell that uh, someone played this thing a lot. Um, and I'm guessing, boy, they must even use uh, flat wounds on this. There's just barely any, any wear on these frets. But the thing that I really love about this thing is it has an ebony board on it, which I just love ebony fret boards. Uh, can you really feel a difference? No, but it, they just feel elegant to me. I just love ebony boards and to have a base with ebony boards. I just thought that was great. Um, it's uh, what else can I tell you? It's got these great pickups. It's got this big heavy duty um, uh, uh, bridge back here. Uh, three knobs, which controls your tone and the volume of the two pickups, and it's all original. Uh, it's a definitely a set neck. There's there's no uh, um, uh, thing on here like a Fender would have had. It's it's a set neck, and uh, it plays great. I had Jeff the Tech set it up. We put new strings on it because the strings were like I think two were missing, and the two that were there were rusty. So I got rid of that stuff quick. <laughs> I think yeah, I'm I'm on the uh, on, on the the uh, the front pickup. Let's turn some treble up here. Sounds good. Let's go to this back pickup. That's a little clackier. I 
like them together. I must admit, that's where I kind of like this bass to be with those two together. bass um whoever gets this is gonna really really thank me <laughs> this is a really 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 cool bass i think i mentioned before it's got um, a 22 frets it's got a 34 inch scale neck and the nut is one and three quarters inch wide which is not super wide for a bass and it just looks so 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 cool uh in this uh white finish that is has just turned this gold is just absolutely beautiful Someone's going to love this bass. They're going to absolutely love, love, love it. I didn't get it with case. Uh, actually, I think it came with this really crappy gig bag. And I thought, what in the world am I going to do with this Gibson bass? Went through all my cases. I said, no, 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 no. Some were too short. Some were just too ugly. And I said, well, maybe I'll put it in a gig bag. I went to my gig bags. And look what I just happened to have in the Lawman inventory. Yep. Gibson bass. I couldn't believe it. And yes, it fits. So not only do you get that really cool bass, but you know what? You get, I don't, these, these are pretty new. I mean, this thing looks like it's brand new. I don't know why I had it. I didn't really have another Gibson bass. The case must have just shown up by itself. The only thing I can figure out. But anyway, you get this cool Gibson bass gig bag that fits it perfectly. It looks really cool when you show up and they go, oh, a Gibson bass. And you pull that thing out and they go, whoa, what is that? Uh, you just don't ever see them. I've never seen one. Didn't know they existed. And uh, But I'm happy to know that they do because it is a super, super cool bass. So, hey, you can go to our www.lawmanguitars.com uh, and find all of our guitars. It takes you directly to Reverb, which is where we have all our guitars, all of our vintage parts, all the stuff that we have. We've got over 400 listings now. Uh, we got tons of stuff. So check it all out. Uh, while you're here in our YouTube channel, once you hit subscribe, we're right at 7,600 now. We'd love to see us get to 8,000 here in the next month or so. That'd be awesome. I'd really appreciate if you tell your friends. Um, and uh, hey, if you can't remember anything, just remember Lawman Guitars and Google it and I will pop up immediately. But hey, become a subscriber. Hit that subscribe button while you're in the YouTube. Why don't you save me as a favorite seller? You know, that way uh, when I get new stuff, you'll know about it. Everyone says, hey, you know, I've been looking for like a Gibson such and such and such, such a 1980. I go, I'm never going to remember that. Why don't you just save me as a seller and then you'll know when they show up. So that's why I tell everybody I am I cannot remember all the things that my people are looking for. So follow me and then you'll see them when they come up. But in the meantime, 
Thanks so much for watching my demos. I really appreciate all your support. I get lots of, of kind comments about uh, uh, the fun uh, demos that we do, and I'm glad you appreciate them and you have fun watching them. But I hope that uh, we could do some business with you someday. I'd love to do that too. We've been selling tons of guitars. I mean, we've just been having a terrific year. Thank you all for that support. And I appreciate you watching my demos, and I hope to see you again next month. Thank you so very much. Thank you.